I've never been that thrilled with beauty pageants to begin with. After John Bonnet Ramsey's rape and murder, I got even more uncomfortable with the ones that are aimed at small children. Well, as I'm sure a lot of you know by now, uh, there is a brand new TV show on the Learning Channel about beauty pageants aimed at preschoolers and kindergartners, and it's called Toddlers and Tiaras, and it's already catching a lot of heat for seeing to celebrate the exploitation of small girls. Now, I'm not one to rush to judgment if I can avoid it, but I've got to say, when I found the show online in order to research this rant today, I was honestly sickened in the first 15 seconds. The teaser in the opening credits alone shows shot after shot of girls no older than seven, not only being dolled up in these overly precious clothes and being airbrushed like a motorcycle, but being coached into giving forced, sometimes dead smiles, occasionally to the point of crying. Then there are the many shots of these girls being paraded in swimsuits and short skirts, being told to make very suggestive dance moves. Those who have been following my rants from the beginning know that one of my all-time pet peeves is parents who treat their kids like walking toys rather than living human beings. The behavior seen on the show is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Self-absorbed drama queens who are so obsessed with using their kids as status symbols that they berate and brainwash them into thinking that being a preteen pinup model is the only thing that matters in life. And don't even get me started on how every pedophile with TiVo or a VCR has probably recorded every single episode of this crap. I realize that the show has only so much control over what they document, but why is it too much to ask that someone thinks about how much this continues to sexualize children who want to be more concerned about playing hopscotch? We live in an age where it is already way too easy to see kids getting used sexually, not only by the kind of pedophiles that get arrested every day, but by the commercial pedophiles who see nothing wrong with selling 8-year-olds shirts that say things like Sexy 69, or having them in skin-tight outfits with the slogan Lickable, supposedly referring to ice cream. Why are parents and the media making this even easier? Do these people honestly not understand what they're doing, or do they not care? Either way, if this bothers you, I strongly urge you to contact the Learning Channel and the Discovery Networks to complain about this. If this still goes on, let's all call the FCC or the Canadian Broadcast Standards Council, because they claim to be the ones keeping our airwaves safe for family viewing. So it's time for them to put their money where their mouths are. That's it for me.